Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, I am going to show you how to change new log level dynamically at runtime. I am Mohamed Akif and working as Microsoft developer since last few years. I will walk you through the agenda where we will see how to enable JMX for Mute Server, setting up JVisual VM and MBeans plugin for monitoring logs, deployment of Mule 4 application on on-premises server, and in the end, we will see a demo how things work together. Let's move on. Here I have a Mule Enterprises standalone application. If you don't know how to configure it with on-premises server, you can watch my previous video and come back to this video again. Here we will we would go to config directory and in config directory we have a wrapper.config file where we will configure jmx okay so for enabling jmx for mule runtime we will have to add these lines and we will have to create these two files jms remote.axis jms remote.password okay let's go back i will be posting these lines under the description in of video here we will create these two files and see what's in these files in these files we have the username and access rights and for password we have admin password for admin username gary password for gary username okay for password file we would need to restrict to other we would need to restrict to yourself only for that we would need to enable a command run the command from config directory and the command i will paste to video description once this command it, command is here you can change the system user for me it is active.arif you may have your own username and hit enter so that no one can access the password file other than you okay and now let's configure jvisual vm let's go to the java directory it is embedded to Java in Java already and bin and we have JVGL VM. Now here we would need to add the connection. And I have already added connection, but how you will add connection? Add JMX connection from here. And the connection it should be localhost 1099. And this port, you can see the port is already here. But first, you would need to run the server from bin directory of mule. For me, it is already running. Okay, let's go back to JVGLVM and it should be security it could be admin or Gary, depends on you and admin. This is the same as like access and password. Click OK and then you should see this. Okay, now let's go to tools and download a plugin called as mbeans. And I have already installed a plugin, VM mbeans. You can see from here. If you don't see it, you can download. Okay. We have a Mule application which we will deploy to runtime environment. Let's go here and look in here. In applications deploy application first level and uh, it should be your on premises server select the file which I have already created okay this jar is the mule project that I just shown you we have two log levels info and warn and we will see how we can change the logs dynamically and we will get whatever logs we want the application is being started <coughs> okay let's go to jvisual vm and from mbeans which we downloaded the plugin from log4j2 we will see once our application is here see test log level our application is already here now which means that application 
has been started now you can go through here and loggers in log processor we have info by default let's change this from info to one okay once this is you can see and refresh if this changes yes the, we have changed the log level as one and now let's try to access the application where our url was test okay and hit enter send 200 okay which means that the replication has generated logs let's go to new run time and see if the logs have been generated successfully or not okay inside logs we have uh, this test log level app and open it in notepad and see we are only getting one log level now let's move back to the J visual vm and change this back to info and now we will get info and one both log levels is this default behavior of log4j and for info you will get one and info both log levels let's try okay and the file has been reloaded see we can get these log levels now so this is how you can generate log levels dynamically thanks for watching the video if you like the video please hit bell icon and subscribe to the channel and share with others so that everyone can learn